Hello there everyone, this is Nega Knight here, getting ready to play Icarus. And today, instead of doing the open world, we're going to be doing a mission, probably four missions, maybe not this, all of them in this episode, but as you can see, clear a path to a, enter a new region. As the uh, people have told me, the reason why I couldn't get into the Arctic is because of these missions here. One of them leads to the Arctic. I'm pretty sure they said this one. I'm, I'm sure that one's probably to the desert. That one's probably to another Arctic, and that's probably just somewhere else. Who knows? I'm making a guess on some of these. And also, I highly recommend doing missions because if you listen... Geological formation has been spied from orbit. Powers that be want more information and to open up that slice of Terra Zone for development. But something about it not being formed naturally. Not sure if I like the implications of that statement. On top of that, we've had reports. Um, I'm not sanctioned to share until you're on planet. So good pay. Some risk. Considerable risk. You in? Uh, as you can see, this tells you a story of what's going on on Icarus. It tells you why some creatures are the way they are. We're going to grab this. We're going to grab that. We're going to grab these. I don't think I'm going to need this, but I mean, it doesn't hurt. There's really no point in bringing down items that are going to deteriorate over time. Don't really need a farming thing. I would bring my armor, but I mean, that deteriorates too. So th these are pretty much the main things I'm going to be going down with. I shouldn't have to worry about needing to insurance them, so let's go. Uh, yep. And once we land, you'll hear more of the story. Although I'm not sure if you guys will be able, if, if you'll be able to hear it or not. Hopefully you can. If not, I'll probably end up editing that part out and just be like, yeah. If you listen, there's stories and stuff to those missions. Anyways, let's load up and get. Alright, well that was quite interesting. Apparently there's something out here that's getting... That's hungry for people. Alright, so most of this is just basically the same beginning. You just grab stuff, you get everything, you prep everything, grab your bow, get this, get that most of the time. Get some wood, get, get your tools, get some food, all that fun stuff. Uh, yes, well, at least they repeatedly let you know that your stuff is in here. Okay. Grab that, grab that, we'll grab this, that, and that. We'll equip that, we'll equip that. I may just throw this back in, depending on how things go. Although, if I do have to make a base, then I'll just simply may throw up some oxygen thingy so we have to get 
Ah, uh, flip nuggets. We're gonna need to get Arctic equipment. And we're gonna have to run over here and then run over here. So most of this is just to run around. I'm not sure if this is gonna unlock any locations or not, but if it is, great. If not, well then, at least I showed you what the missions are kind of like. And I will tell you they're they can be fun. The game is mo most people have the misconception that the game is about building a base, completing the mission. No, it's about risk versus reward. What are you willing to risk in order to complete your mission? And since this one requires me to uh get our uh, f frost resistant clothing, where the hell oops yeah, frost resistant clothing. I'm gonna have to set up a small temporary base, harvest a bunch of fur, leather, all that fun stuff. Probably bring me with me some torches, a campfire, so that I can heat up during storms. Right now, I'm gonna do a quick bit of hunting and all that fun stuff. So I'll see you once I'm set up with the and ready to go into the biome. We're here, we're ready, we're set up. Yes, I got a little quick base here set up. As you can see, it took a little bit to get to this point, mostly because I had to flip and hunt for animals to get fur. And that took forever because there was none of them close by. But now that we're all ready and set up, let's just actually craft one of these. And you know, we'll probably craft one of these too. So I can repair my stuff on the way. I could take all this stuff, but anyways, I'm going to show you the run to the first beacon because I mean, it's right there. But the second run to the beacon, I'm going to pretty much uh, cut out that the run from here to here. That way I can just show you what it's like to here and all that fun stuff. Most of the, I would have been hit, done sooner or already in here running to the next place if I had um, used my one armor equipment. No, yeah. You're going to want to make sure to have this off. In other words, you don't want to be drinking water when in the Arctic because, as you can see right there, I hit. I'm cold, but as soon as that water thing goes away, boom. I'm not freezing. I gotta make sure I can craft some heating bandages, which I can easily do by smacking out this. I brought myself a quick little emergency shelter system just in case it, it gets uh, bad. So let's quickly mark on the map here where we need to go. Now this area, if it's anything like Olympus, it's going to have a lot of wolves all over the place. But it's possible they may have reduced the quantity of wolves. Who knows? Oh, they actually have trees in the Arctic. That's impressive. I've never I never knew there was trees. Oh. Ooh. I can see through the world. Okay, well, anyways. Snow wolf? You seem to be a tiny little guy. And now you're dead. Oh, there goes a snow bunny. I don't need ice. Alright, we're gonna skin. And this, the real, and to tell you the truth, the Arctic, before they had missions and stuff. Oops, I meant to use my pick. Before they had. Oh, you've. This is, uh, used to be one of the great ways to level up, and I guess I'm gonna die. Oh, nope. Oh. It also used to be one of the most dangerous things to do, be but if you were properly prepared, you could actually level up extremely quickly. We're gonna take that off, and we're gonna... 
put that this back on. Okay. Wasn't expecting that to happen. I guess it was a good thing I showed you the trip there. Although I'm not even... I just barely started. Ooh, yes, I can make a place to sleep. Um, I might need to more of those. I'm definitely going to need their bones. Especially if I'm going to be repairing my knife and stuff. And making more ammo. That's going to be the biggest issue here. Most of the time, if you... Really? I just flip and you flip nuggets. I just healed myself from a stupid wound. That's another thing. If you spend too long near dead bodies, you're going to get ate by wolves before you ever make it to the next your next destination okay let's get out of here before more wolves come and let's heal up again as you can see as you can see there's another here another wolf out there i may have to craft a bunch of these the issue is i didn't bring enough uh what do you call it as you can see XP, 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 XP. The winter is still full of wolves, like I thought. I, right now, I don't really need the XP, so the I don't really need to hunt them, but at the same time, I mean, look at that wolf, wolf. In one of my videos back in the day, I told you what an amazing XP farm, and that was just the Arctic, and this is why. One, two, three, four, five wolves. All of them within shooting range, too. I could be like dead, 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 dead if I practiced and aimed enough. But that's not what I'm here. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I need to get this cured before it's too late. And if you're in need of wood half the time along the walls, as you can see in certain areas, there will be driftwood near the walls, which you can pick up and use for fire and all that. It's not always there, but in some areas you will. So if you are ever in need of wood, just keep an eye out along the walls like this. Normally, I wouldn't be talking on missions like this when playing the game by myself, because hearing the wolves is... A big advantage because then you can t pinpoint rough locations where they might be at in order to uh, take them down now the question is have they changed the way these scans work because if they did they might have changed it because of me I know I'm not a big channel and all that so I highly doubt that but I mean if if you watched my previous series, you will see why I say that. Because before, you never had to snap them into place. You just had to be within a general area, within a certain area, and just plop them down. Where the hell is this located? The issue I'm going to have is if there's a polar bear, I don't have any javelins ready, which means I'm going to be using a bunch of arrows. And I mean, look at that, more XP, more and more XP, lots and lots of XP. However, the Arctic is extremely dangerous, as you saw. I practically got almost overwhelmed by wolves. Look at that, more, ooh, a cave. There's so much XP, it's not even funny. Okay, where the hell is it located? Is it located down here or is it located up top? Uh, it looks like it's located here. The question is... Wait, is this actually water water? No, it's frozen ice. That's actually kind of cool. There's some things I didn't even know they had in here. Uh... Da -da 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 -da. Uh, must snap. Now you're gonna need to search the area. 
That's a little late, dude. Alright, so yeah, they changed this up because of me. <laughs> uh, not actually because of me, because but still. Alright, um... I want to be able to protect it. Because I know there's going to be stupid creatures. I guess I forgot to make another actually no I didn't I made a ramp for a roof rather than this there we go I just gotta make sure to keep this repaired oh When this is as long as it's just wolves you can basically just keep this repaired like this the, although it's possible to fail the mission if you don't take them down nope put you put you down oh there's another wolf To repair this. Oh, hello there, bear. You need to go down. I don't know how you. I'd prefer not to die. Easier to. I'm about to die if I don't repair. I would like to repair. Give uh, me my arrows back, you stupid pincushion. So I might have to build fortifications instead, which I think I'm going to do. Ow, what the hell? Holy flip, I'm dead. There's way too many rules here. Hi, polar bear. <sighs> they definitely made this a lot harder. Can I even actually finish this mission? Now that the radar is broke. If not, I'm going to have to quit the mission and do it again. And then the next time I'll do it off camera. Uh, but. They definitely changed up the stuff because before you could actually use to place the radars on top of the beams. And you didn't have to worry about the creatures. You could just sit there and... Oh, you flip nuggets. If I can't get the radar from this, then the mission's pretty well over. And at least you guys got to see how hard of a, um Arctic is. Normally, I don't really have that much trouble, but it's also because I used to uh, have fun screwing with the game. Uh, if I retrieve from another drop ship.
Oh, sweet. Okay, so I can continue the mission. I don't really need to worry about that, but... So I guess at this rate, I'll just have to worry about repairing things fast enough. And building a bed next to the place. I'm going to have to go and retrieve all my equipment, which, uh, that sucks. Stupid gator, leave me alone. Mm. All right. Personally, I was not expecting a polar bear. I think that was just kind of cheating. Okay. I'm pretty sure that stuff is close. I'll freeze, be freezing a lot, but I'm pretty sure I can reach my stuff. So I'm going to go over there. I'm going to try and grab it. And then from there, we can see what I'm going to see if I can try and complete that. And then after that, I guess I'll call the video. But for now, let's just try and get this one scan done. Uh, I found a bug here. My stuff is under the ice somehow. And I don't know how to get it and all that. So, so, uh, yay. All right, well, I'm pretty well dead. Maybe I can just place this and... Oh no, it's only 38%. Alright, well, because of my stupid stuff being stuck and the polar bears... I'll have to call this mission and just simply try again next time because I mean look at that like 20 bears or not 20 bears but 20 wolves and two polar bears I'm nowhere near set up for this I thought I had more time and I thought I could it would be easier than this because what I'm used to them being a, a lot easier than this like I said, if you watch my previous series, you would see how I used to do it, and they've really changed that. It also didn't help that they flippin' bugged out the game to where my stuff fell under the snow, so I couldn't even grab that. Anyways, I'm gonna call it for here for now, so if you guys enjoyed seeing me die and fail the mission, please like. If you didn't, I understand. I mean, who doesn't want to see someone get slaughtered? Anyways, for now, if you enjoyed, please like. Also, if you want to be added on to the in-screen credits, make sure to publicly subscribe and I'll add you on after about two or so weeks. And woohoo, it's my birthday, or at least that's when this video is going up. Anyways, if you want to see more games I play, just check out my channel. And if you want to see more of this series, check out the in-screen credits. I didn't actually expect to fail this mission so miserably. Although I didn't fail, I can simply retry and get everything and all that, but still. Anyways, bye bye